Hey there, so sorry about the audio. I can't find my little, like, my little earbuds. So anyway, um, <laughs> so last we left off, we were talking about frequency. And so today, what I want to talk about in this 88 Days to Manifest Your Best Life, or How to Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days, or however you want to cut it, um, in this next step, I want to discuss uh, frequency and energy. Okay, so we talked about frequency the last time, and I, and now we're going to talk about that in regard to energy, okay? So when we're going through this manifestation process, like I talked about last time, right, there's specific frequencies to specific life events or things that you wish to bring into your life, like a home, a um, significant other, um, a new job, a new, a new business, uh, elevation, like all kinds of stuff, like everything, literally everything that you can see and that you can touch and that you can't see and that you can't touch, everything literally has a frequency to it. So the key for you as you're vibrating and learning to remain in this vibratory status of high frequency energy or a frequency level that you're going to meet that whatever it is that you're manifesting, the, the, the reason for that is because this is a different energy footprint, okay? So basically, this energy is vibrating at this level. It's not vibrating down here. It's vibrating up here. And if your energy is vibrating down here, you're it's you're gonna miss you're never gonna get to this point where you kind of collide where you're resonating the reason why we talk about oh i resonate with this or i resonate with that is because when you resonate with something you're in agreement with it you're in a harmony with it you can i you can like identify with it and not only can you identify with it but you can actually like get into it right so if you resonate with a message like with a message of um like that on youtube or something right you resonate with the message i'm so sorry i've got like i was just outside doing a ritual um blowing ashes and i got like ashes um so if you like resonate with something on youtube right and so it really you're harmonizing with it even if you never heard it before when you come to this realization that oh wow that that's really cool then you're just, then you're resonating. Then you can accept that you're in harmony. It can enter into your, your, your atmosphere. It can enter into your being. Literally, it can enter into your being. So you have to resonate with what it is you're manifesting. And until internally you're resonating with it, you're not going to see it externally. As above, so below. As within, so without. Hermetic principles. So that's why it's so important to do all of this work. Now, frequency and energy are interchangeable. Okay? Frequency and energy are interchangeable. Because of that, things like money, like a new car, physical things have an energy. Okay? Just like non-physical or metaphysical or invisible, unseeable things have energy. So when you in have internalized so much so that there's no doubt in your brain that X, Y, and Z is going to happen, no doubt at all, and no doubt in your being, it's in your heart, it is a belief, you emanate this energy like everywhere. There's no, there's no wavering. You're going to waver sometimes. It's okay. But by and large, there's no wavering, right? Your, your vibrational set point is here. Then this has no, no, then this, whatever this is in your life that you're wanting over here, there's no choice. You, it absolutely has to come to you because you're vibrating at that level. You're resonating at that level. If your vibrational or resonance or frequency set point is down here, within lack and shame and guilt and pride and all of that, you're never going to get there. It, because you can't, you cannot, you cannot achieve what you cannot see. You cannot achieve what you do not believe. Okay. So the re when you can identify the fact that everything that you want in your life, that's part of your best life, everything 
is frequency. Everything's frequency. Everything's energy. When you can identify that and resonate with that belief system, with that knowledge, then you can change your vibrational set point. But this is why it gets so dangerous and it's, it can be so difficult to manifest your best life when you're putting that responsibility outside of yourself. When you're putting it out here somewhere where if it's some other entity's will or when you say, well, I could do this if so-and-so and so-and-so would do their part. I'm even going to bring it outside of like religion. If your belief system is you're not going to be able to achieve this thing unless all these other people do something different so that you cannot overcome racial inequity or gender inequity or anything like any type of inequity because other people hold all the keys. They hold all the power. Well, you've given them all the power at that point. Am I saying that there aren't groups of people that hold some level of power in the th third dimensional realm? Absolutely not. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is you have a choice to say that I no longer wish to play by those matrix rules. I wish to go to this matrix and play in my own rules. So I am not dependent on whether or not some other race, creed, some other gender what Whatever they do, what difference does that make? I don't care. I don't care if people don't like me. I don't care if people don't like me because of my religious beliefs, because of my spirituality beliefs. I don't care if people don't like me because, you know, I have a lot of melanin in my skin. I don't care. I don't care if people don't like me because I'm a single parent. I don't care if people don't like me because I'm a woman. a biologically born woman, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. Because the life that I wish to manifest is here. It's here. It's not down here where I'm fighting everybody else. There's nothing that is dependent upon other people. I attract in clients. I attract in people to work with. I attract in partners, joint venture partners, and other partners. I attract them in. So because I believe that, then that's what I get, right? So understand that your frequency and your vibrational set point and what energy and what physical things you are attracting and the world you are creating is solely dependent upon you nobody else you get to choose so you're going to need to make that choice now if you're ready to make that choice i want you to comment down below i'm ready if you've already made that choice say i've made that choice okay wherever you're at whatever platform you're seeing this on and if you have questions well how do i keep my vibration high how do i keep that how do I get there? We're going to keep talking about that, but you can ask me and I'll be happy to make a video and explain it. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're raising our vibrational set point so that you vibrate at the frequency of that which you are manifesting. I know a lot of people may not say that, maybe not as plainly, but it really is all dependent upon you. When I decided to stop, stop self-sabotaging, when I decided to change things, when I decided to not look at everybody else and say it's their fault, and I went within, that's when my life changed. All right, don't forget, give me a like, a share, a follow, a subscribe, wherever you're at. Thank you so much, I so appreciate it. Um, it helps the algorithm and it helps more people see these videos. And until next time, Never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. Talk to you soon. Bye.